Hello guys, what's up? So here I am going to start with the ENT one-liners. This will be crux from your ENT notes or ENT book that you need to revise before your NEET PG. And uh, without wasting time, this is Dr. Shivam Kesarwani starting with ear. The pinna develops from six hillocks of his, originating from the first and second brachial arches. Preauricular sinus developed due to incomplete fusion of first and second hillock of his. Bat ear is characterized by excessive conchal cartilage with poorly or non-developed antihelix. So basically you need to do, know is that the, in bat ear there is non-developed antihelix and it is the most common congenital anomaly of pinna. You will see many patients in ENT outdoor with bat ear. Cosmetic correction of pinna is done at the age of 6 year. Malleus and incus develops from first brinkle arch. See, any of these points cannot be left before you go to your NEET PG exams. So do have means have a concentration over these points. Malleus and incus develop from first brinkle arch. Stapes develops from second brinkle arch. Foot po foot plate and the annulus, sorry annular ligament develop from the otic capsule. Malleus incus stapes. Malleus malleus incus from first stapes second foot plate and annular ligament from the otic capsule. And otic capsule ossifies from the 14 centers. The mastoid process develops after one year of life. You all know. Thickness of the bone overlying the antrum is only 2 mm and it increases at the rate of 1 mm per year. Mastoid antrum lies 1 to 2, uh, 1, 1.2 to 1.5 cm deep to the supramural triangle. <coughs> Simba con concha is a soft tissue anatomical landmark for the mastoid antrum. McEwen triangle is the bony landmark for the mastoid antrum. Simba concha is the soft tissue landmark while bony landmark is the McEwen triangle. Corner septum is a persistent petrosquamous suture. Mastoid antrum lies deep to the corner septum. Mastoid tip does not develop till the age of 2 years. So postural incision in babies or in below 2 years children should be slanting posteriorly so as to avoid facial nerve injuries. Colooral fistula is an opening in the floor of external auditory meters to the angle of jaw. Where it is present, the opening is present at the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid near the angle of jaw. Mastoid antrum nematizes begins at one year of life and by four to six years pattern is fully completed. Prusik space. It is one of the recent years question. Prusik space lies Medial to the past placer. You do need not to learn the location. Just know that it, it is most common site of cholesteatoma, and it lies medial to the plas past flaccida of the tympanic membrane. Trotman triangle. You you may know the boundaries. That is the bony labyrinth anteriorly, sigmoid sinus posteriorly, and the dura superiorly. <coughs> Sitelli's angle. See, I you need to know only the marked points in the figure all the points are not uh, important for you so just the points i am telling to you i am illustrating to you is the important in this video satellite's angle or the sinodural angle is the angle between the sigmoid sinus and the middle fossa dural plate so this is important <clears throat> the landmark for endolymphatic sac is donaldson line so you must also know what is the donaldson line so it is basically a line passing horizontally passing through the horizontal semicircular canal bisecting the posterior semicircular canal so it passes through the horizontal semicircular canal bisecting the posterior semicircular canal narrowest part of facial canal is 4 mm above the stylomastoid foramen utricular and saccule respond to linear acceleration while the semicircular canals respond to angular angle and acceleration the blood supply of inner ear is from labyrinthine artery, which is a branch of anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Perilymph and endolymph. See, endolymph has similar type of like uh, we have inside the cell, the concentration of sodium potassium that is low sodium inside the cell and high potassium outside the cell. And the perilymph is somewhat of CSF like concentration that is opposite. In the cell, what we see is low sodium and high potassium outside the cell. So, endolymph is 
means for just remembering i am telling that endolymph contains low sodium inside and high endolymph contains low sodium and high potassium while the perilymph contain high sodium and low potassium <coughs> now bill's bar bill's bar of the internal auditory meatus separates the facial nerve from the superior vestibular nerve what happens is if, if this is your internal auditory meatus this is the seventh nerve means there is one mnemonic seven up and coca cola so this is the seventh nerve facial this is the cochlear nerve and here lies the superior vestibular nerve and the inferior vestibular nerve so this bar this bar is your bill's bar what it does is it separates the facial nerve from the superior vestibular nerve this and this it means it is separating the facial nerve from the superior vestibular nerve bill's bar now basal cochlear turn perceives high frequency sounds while the apical turn per turn perceives the low frequency sounds the commonest site of labyrinthine fistula is at the dome of lateral semicircular canal important the commonest site of injury to the facial nerve in the mastoid surgery is second genu very important facial nerve involvement is more common in longitudinal temporal bone fractures very 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 important now most common temporal bone fractures are longitudinal and they are the results of blow to the temporal or the parietal areas hello sign you all know is blood stained csf fissure of santorini is a deficiency in the part of cartilaginous external auditory canal through which infection may spread inside the ear or the mastoid or parotid in regions in the meatus now foramen of lashke you must have heard very frequently is a deficiency in the anteroinferior part of external auditory canal up to the age of 4 years and persisting infection to and fro from the permitting infection to and fro to the parotid Elective neurography is the best guidance for the facial nerve decompression surgery. In advanced cases of acoustic neuroma, fifth nerve involvement is the earliest producing diminishing of corneal reflex and difficulty in mastication. So acoustic neuroma, you what is the earliest presentation is the earliest nerve involved is the fifth nerve producing diminishing of corneal reflex and difficulty in mastication. <coughs> same thing hesselberger's sign what is this it is seen in case of a gastric neuroma in which there is loss of sensation in the posterior superior aspects of the external auditory canal and mri is the gold standard investigation for the acoustic neuroma glomus jugular is a non chromaffin paraganglioma commonly seen in elderly female brown sign seen in glomus jugular where what is it this what Uh, means on by sigil speculum if you increase the pressure in the external auditory canal the tumor mass becomes more prominent and red with increased pulsation as the pressure is increased above the systolic pressure blanching occurs and pulsation begin to reappear on releasing the pressure now phelps sign what is it it is the absence of normal crest between the carotid canal and jugular fossa on lateral tomography most useful tuning fork is 512 as the in intensity of sound lasts longer for the patient rini's test is negative if the conductive loss is greater than 15 decibel means rini's test is you ha must have all know that the rini's test is negative in case of conductive hearing loss but the conductive hearing loss should be greater than 15 decibel suppose the patient is having 10 decibel of conductive hearing loss in spite of 15 then in that patient the rinis test may be positive and thus you may get the results false that is you may label the patient as means a sensory neural or normal hearing loss so for rinis test to be negative the conductive hearing loss should be greater than 15 decibel false negative is also seen in case of severe unilateral sensory neural hearing loss in conductive deafness absolute bone conduction is normal while in sensory neural loss abc absolute absolute bone conduction is shortened so what you need to remember is in sensory neural loss abc is shortened recruitment phenomena seen in presbycusis and menias disease is abnormal rapid growth of loudness in the affected ear 
Fistula test. It is a communication between the middle ear and the labyrinth which may result from fistula in the bony wall of the lateral semicircular canal due to origin by the cholesteatoma in COM. Positive fistula test is seen in cholesteatoma. One more important sign which is particularly important for you this year neat PG is broadcast sign. What is it? If you encounter a patient of carcinoma larynx, so you see absence of post cricoid cackle that is Muir's crackle. If you move the uh, Adam's apple or the, in laterally to laterally there is absence of post cricoid crackle in carcinoma of the post cricoid region. So this is known as Broca's sign. So I will be continuing with the uh, next sections of nose and throat till then. All the best and